Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled Stars and Dust in Corona Australis. So what do we see here? Well, this is near the constellation of the Southern Crown, and we see in it some stars, of course, and around them we see some dust. Now, dust can manifest itself in several different ways in out in space, and one way we see it is as a reflection nebula, and that is the blue glow we see around these stars. That is actually the reflection of light from those stars off of dust grains around them. Now, dust can also manifest itself as a dark nebula. When the concentration of dust is larger, then it will block out light from behind it. So you can see some regions here off, say, off to the right of the upper reflection nebula where it looks very dark and there is nothing present, it appears to be nothing present. However, that is simply that there is enough dust there that it blocks out all of the light from behind it. In reality, there are just as many stars there as there are in the region up above. And that is, it's, we simply cannot see them because of the amount of dust there. Now we can also see some other stars uh, glowing over there. Off to the left, we can see the nebulosity around the very young star and a variable star known as R Corona Australis. And down below that, we can see some regions of very young star formation, objects that are called Herbig Aro objects. And those are actually not stars themselves, but are the material around the stars the in, their, in the interstellar medium that are being shocked by jets being emitted by very young stars. So as the stars form, they emit a lot of material in very powerful jets out um, in, uh, along their axes. And when that material strikes other material in the interstellar medium, it is excited and caused to glow. So the Herbig Aro object itself is actually not the star, but is the material around the star that has been excited by jets from the star. And that is what we are seeing glowing down here, down below that other nebula. So all of these, again, are associated with star formation, a reflection nebula, and the very young star that we see, and the Herbig Aro objects are all things that are associated with star-forming regions, which are also, again, a part of the dust. The dust in the dark nebula is really where everything starts. That's where the darker regions, that's where the material begins to collapse to form stars that eventually will become the other types of objects that we see in our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for January the 12th of 2020. It was titled Stars and Dust in Corona Australis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Desert Eclipse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.